This week we're examining the American Revolution, which of course is an American story, but we're asking that question, why didn't that other colony, Nova Scotia, join the American Revolution? It's an interesting question because, as we've noted in our introductory materials, over 8,000 New Englanders, most of them from Massachusetts, most of them from the heart of revolutionary America, moved to Nova Scotia and modern-day New Brunswick uh, in the period, in the 10 years just before the American Revolution. So it raises the question of why these people who had grown up in the same ideals, the same politics, the same communities, why they didn't join the revolution. Some of them did, and that's what we're going to look at today. But in our readings this week, we're going to look at the questions of why the others didn't join. But what I want you to see today is this fortress behind me. This is Fort Cumberland on the shores of, uh, on the border rather, between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Uh, and this was a French fortress built in anticipation of the Seven Years' War, built by the French in the 1740s and 1750s, uh, and then after the Seven Years' War it becomes British and they rename it Fort Cumberland. In November of 1776, about 500 men under some American revolutionary leaders uh, attacked this fortress, and they attacked it with the support of local Maliseet people, local Mi'kmaq people, uh, and some disgruntled Acadians who were kind of still in the region, as some Acadians are beginning to come back into the region after the expulsion. And so the, they, they try to capture this fortress, and you might wonder why. It's not particularly strategic anymore. Um, during, the, during the Seven Years' War it was, because it was on the border between French and British territory, but now it's not. Probably the best reason was simply to capture something British, uh, to show that the British were not secure in their hold of Nova Scotia. In Halifax, 200 kilometers that way, they've got Royal Navy vessels, they've got a large garrison of British troops. That's secure. But a small position like this may be not be, may not be, rather. Uh, and so there was certainly a, the thought here that perhaps if they could capture this, show the British that there was revolutionary sentiment in the area, that the British would be forced to send troops here, forced to send troops to other areas of Nova Scotia to secure uh, their hold on that province. The, the, the siege fails, they do not capture it, uh, but it certainly shows minimally that there are people in this area, and we know that in Majorville, about two hours that way, uh, the New Brunswick side, uh, that they were actually supporters of the revolution. They were in correspondence uh, with, the, with the George Washington, with the Washington uh, co uh, sorry, Revolutionary Corresponding Committees uh, in the 13 colonies. And so certainly there's sentiment there. Uh, and the sea shows that certainly that sentiment was often willing to be taken to the, to the level of, of, an, of a military action. 